Hey there friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so so glad you've joined me today. In this video, I wanted to talk about simplicity. I'm painting my friend Tiffany's wedding bouquet today and it felt like an appropriate topic as her gorgeous little bouquet that you're about to see was made completely from flowers from Kroger. And I know that her, her wedding was all around super simple, super sweet. And it just got me thinking about how often we humans complicate things. I kind of went down the rabbit hole just thinking like, why do we need to spend thousands of dollars on our weddings? Why do I personally feel the need to have maybe the latest technology or more art supplies? Why do I feel the need to be on so many different social media sites to have all of these subscriptions, some that I barely even use? And maybe you relate on some level. When I first got started with my business, I thought I needed to do everything in the same way that other people were doing it. And to be fair, when you're just getting started with something, you kind of have to throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. It's hard to know where you'll connect with your audience, what type of art to create. I get it. It takes some experimentation. But I remember I agonized over trying to make the right decisions. Should I make prints? Should I drop ship? Should I be doing live events? Should I try to talk to galleries? Should I try and seek out wholesale accounts? Should I sign up for this course? Should I go to that conference, read this book, listen to that podcast? Really overwhelming, <laughs> but you get it, right? There's just so many different ways to live your life. So many different ways to run a business, just a lot of decisions. And it's taken some serious discipline and self-awareness to just not get distracted by all of these shiny things. A lot of them being good things but we gotta just know the path that we are on. And if that relates with you at all, I wanted to share just a few things that have really helped me when it comes to simplifying my life and simplifying the choices that I make. First of all, and this is probably the biggest and most helpful for me personally, and that is using a journal. And once a week, I check in, I write down my goals and I take a meaningful look at the steps I'm taking and where that path is leading me. Is it somewhere I want to go? Each week I ask myself these questions. I ask myself, one, what's working? Like just what's working during this last week? Two, does anything need adjusting? And three, what areas am I feeling filled up and energized? And what areas are making me feel drained and frustrated? It's so important to take inventory and see if the things that you are doing are right or if they're just things you feel like you ought to be doing for whatever reason. I'm telling you, journaling regularly and asking myself these questions has been a huge game changer because in doing so, I've begun to have a lot more clarity and I've begun to see what it is that I truly want to spend my time and my life doing. And on that same hand, I've also been able to really get clarity on what it is I don't want to spend my time doing which leads me to my next tip learn to use those beautiful words no thank you <laughs> it's not easy but a huge lesson i learned a few years ago is this if you don't own your own schedule and prioritize what matters other people will not because they're big old jerks it just kind of happens that way it's human nature and last learn to let it go i've probably made it clear that i have a problem with that fear of missing out syndrome that we all struggle with. When other people talk about the cool things they're doing, the way they're spending their time, the apps they're using to share their art or the different styles they're trying out, I'm always so tempted to want to hop on the bandwagon and just do what other people are doing, especially if it seems like it's really working for them. So I'm learning to dig my heels in when I need to and own where I am, own the steps I'm taking and resist that urge to try to do it all. Maybe try asking yourself if you have a true energy or passion for something, or if you're just doing something because you're worried about missing out. For me, that's usually what it is, if I'm being honest. <laughs> and if you're feeling like this is a huge struggle for you, I have a few books that I highly recommend. Uh, the first one is called Boundaries by John Townsend and Henry Cloud. The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo and Essentialism by Greg McEwen. These books have helped me really just learn what matters and what doesn't. What I want in my life, what I don't, how to take steps to simplify my life, 
and how to focus on where my most valuable contribution in life really is. So I love talking about these kinds of subjects. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you'll give it a little thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps more than you know. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye.